Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time we arrived on this strange planet, Aether, we went into a dark world after we saw, uh, something that looked like Samus. And for our troubles, we got robbed of pretty much every, every viable suit function except for the charge beam, the various suit, and the morph ball. Well, at least we have the charge beam. Makes some kind of use. Now, what the hell is the deal with it? Um. Okay, so there is an outside area. Another one of these gates. You, there is a limited amount of these uh, throughout the game, and you can't scan them after you're done. So I highly recommend... Well, I guess you can scan them when you're done. But uh, the ones that you got to use the power bombs for, those you do have to uh, scan before you get rid of all of them. Industrial switch engaged, that'll lift the crane, which will lift this box out of our way. We are going to use that box a little bit later, but... Yeah. This is... What? What's with these hieroglyphics? It's like 3D. And this is now useless. No real point looking around for... Oh, and here's a new kind of enemy. It's the regular splinters, these are the warriors. Um, there is an unlimited amount of chances to scan the uh, worker splinters, but those uh, you only find in that starting area. Green Crayley, that's a new enemy. And Galactic Federation Bridge. And we need to do this. Scan in order to set up targets. Lots of stuff you guys need to scan. I would just recommend, because there's literally so much shit you have to do in this game to scan, I would recommend that you guys actually go to GameFAQs because I guarantee I'm not going to be looking for everything to scan and tell you what you need to scan and what you don't. Um, but here is a new trooper that you need to scan. I am going to be a bit conservative on the lore reading. Um, I might read some of the pirate lore, some of the uh, um, locals lore, but I do want to get everything out of the way uh, somewhat quickly. Temple Grounds. I always thought this area had a cool song. Temple, uh, the Temple Grounds. And one thing that you are going to need to scan is, oh, Splinter Cocoons. I think you need to scan those, but it's not an immediate problem. You can scan them whenever you want. Now that'll lower the crane, but, oh, it's hanging on by a knotted thread or something. I don't know. Now, I'm just going to ignore most of the enemies I see just because they're a nuisance and obviously they keep coming back. That's how it's always been in Metroid. And this is another one of those uh, Galactic Federation gates, but this one you can only destroy because it's made of densium. Not bendesium, but it's the same kind of su substance. And, and we're cleared to proceed, but the way back has been uh, sort of locked off. The splinters just take a couple of shots to kill, for right now. Uh, something's going to happen quite soon that's going to make them a bit more hardy than that. But there's really no point in exploring for right now just because you're not going to find any um, real expansions until after you get the missiles. Which is coming quite soon. Now let's activate a distress signal. And it seems to be a bit of a problem. Transmission failed due to atmospheric interference. The hell? Uh, well, I guess that means... Oh, fuck you. Screw you guys. It should have been obvious. Okay. And here's a uh, Growler class turret. It belongs to the feds. I think it can shoot you, though. So... Get rid of the splinters. And strangely enough, this gate is locked shut. And here's another trooper that you have to scan in here. Basically, it's all of their their last words, so to speak. Um, so it's, it's kind of good for plot development. But to be honest, these guys only take 
uh, like a small portion of the game until you've scanned all of them. And most of them are in this area. Oh. Now this is the one voice acted part. Now I believe this is the captain of the uh, fed troops. So let's see what they have uh, left for us. Static. Captain Exeter. While on patrol in the Dasha system, we engaged an unknown space pirate frigate. It obviously wasn't the Orphean. Crashed on the planet Aether. Yeah, so was mine. I feel your pain. Hopefully I don't die here like you guys did. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of them. Magnetic activity during the storm disabled our comm systems. Yeah, I tried. No problems until they appeared. Yeah, there's always an until. And if you guys can't tell, this is a remix of Samus's theme from Super Metroid. Oh, it's an attack. Back up. Well, those look like splinters, but what? What's the deal with them? They're all black. Oh, they had some fun with you guys, all right. Holy shit. Where are they all now? Those must be some different kind of splinter. Yeah. We heard this song before. This song was what played when we saw those black creatures take all of our gear. see a little bit of character development for Samus. She, I guess she shuts his eye. So you get a little bit of insight into the bounty huntress. But, Yellow Door? Guys, this is one thing that I did like about this game. The fact that it took a page out of Super Metroid's playbook. Red Door for missiles, Green Door for super missiles, Yellow for power bombs. And inside of here, we get... Missiles! That's right, no boss, no hassle, just a cutscene, and we got a missile launcher. And... Whoa. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. So here they are. Dark splinters? Wait. Darkling possessed insectoid predator. Alien symbiote within the splinter augments its strength and durability. Threat level raised. Yeah, I can imagine. There is more stuff that the uh, logbook will tell you, but you have to go into the uh, logbook itself to hear it. And it's no real big deal. It just takes a little bit. But, uh, I don't know. Let's open the door. Access to map station. Don't mind if I do. Uh, this is getting weirder and weirder by the minute. First we saw some possessed galactic fed troopers. Then we got all our shit stolen by something that looked a lot like those dark splinters. Uh, what the hell is going on with this planet? That's just what I want to know. What the hell? So... Energize that kinetic orb cannon, and kinetic orb is something that you guys might want to learn the terminology of, because if there's ever any scan visor telling you kinetic orb, that means going to morph ball, pretty much every time. So, red door? Missiles. Now, there's really nothing that you really need to scan for doors, but here's another uh, trooper. There's really no doors that you need to scan to my knowledge. Oh, we should know these guys. War wasps. 
Um, is there like a hive around here, or are you just here? Well, who knows, but... <laughs> Let's find out. Kinetic Orb Cannon restored. This planet just keeps getting weirder and weirder by the minute. But... Oh shit. War Wasp Hive. Oh shit. Um, on that note, guys, I think that's where we're gonna stop. What the hell is going on with Planet Aether? What's the deal with those black creatures? Find out next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2. Echoes. Have a good day!